Hi, my name's Ed Matthews from Coram, and I'm here at this beautiful estate lake. Today I'm going to be running through some of the Coram snapper range, and we're going to be looking at the hard lures and the soft lures that Coram do. And I'll talk you through some techniques and some of the rods and, and equipment that we use. We're going to try and catch some pike, and we might get the bonus perch as well. Just seen a, uh, a pike roll just to my left, and I'm just covering it with a lure now. On them midwater shad lures, and I'm just going to work it back nice and slowly. Well, the pike was attacking small roach and rudd that reside in the venue, and um, this midwater shad in a silverfish pattern is perfect replicant for those. I'm just having to com combat the weed though, that's the only trouble. It's not a bad cast, quite close to where that fish rolled. It's a floating lure, I'm just going to let the lure come back up to the surface. Here it is, and then carry on working it back. I have to slow my retrieve right down because the weed is very, very close to the surface there. So just the odd little wind to keep the, keep the lure working. There's a nice little rattle in these lures as well. So that should attract any pike. Just hit the weed bank there. Now another little hint or tip that I can give you is when you put a new lure on and it's straight out of the packet, it's always worth just putting it on before you cast it out, drop it in the edge, have a look at it, see if it's a float or sinks, it should tell you on the packet that much. But just pull it with the rod, have a look at the action, see how it likes to be fished, because you can learn a lot from just watching the lure in the water right before you cast it out. That way it saves a lot of time and effort, because sometimes you can cast and cast and cast, and then you suddenly realise, well, I've been fishing the lure wrong. And you can also play around and see what, what happens with the lure when you put little jolts, knocks, um, lifts, and things in the, with the rod tip and see how that comes out and what how it makes the lure fish it's been working this left hand area and there's another fish showed down the bank there. So I think that's three different pike I've seen roll further down the bank. So that tells me I'm in the wrong position and it's time to move on. And that's what lure fishing is all about, being really, really mobile. So that's me off to the next swim. One of the pleasures of lure fishing for me is how mobile it is. Just up sticks and come to this swim, because there are fish showing in front of here, pike rolling on bait fish. And um, this is all I'm carrying. A snapper ruck bag, net, mat, and rod. This snapper ruck bag carries absolutely everything I need. I've got all my lures, camera, scales, a bit of a sandwich and flask and stuff. And it's spot on for my needs. Straight on your back, straight to the next peg. Right, I should carry on. First thing I always do is just put my net within reach because it's quite easy to leave it out of reach. And then with a new swim, I like to have a few casts away with me away from the uh, 
water's edge because quite often the pike will sit facing out into the lake underneath these bushes and stuff waiting for silver fish to come past and if I rush down to the water side I'm going to be pushing the fish that I want to catch away so I just have a couple of little flicks around make sure my rod tip just hangs I'm far enough to turn my rod tip just hangs over the edge of the bank there but um, you'd be surprised how many bonus fish I've picked up as, as a result of not traipsing down the bank um, also how many fish I've spooked through not do, keeping disciplined and rushing down and then there's a big bow wave away and you've scared off the fish you want to catch. So literally four or five casts just to see if there's anything close in along here. It's got the weed stuck on that one. Only a little bit of weed, but it has stopped the lure from working. Clean him off. Flick it back out again. Just working the lure back now. The clarity in the lake is pretty good. It's quite clear. So I'm happy that if there is one there, it should see it from quite some distance away. Yep, oh, I've just lost one. <laughs> Never mind, it wasn't a big fish and it hit the lure ever so gently. What happened there was, I was just bringing the lure past that rhododendron bush and the pike came through and it just plucked at the lure. It didn't, didn't attack it full force. It took me by, oh, I must admit, it took me a bit by surprise and uh, probably half of it was my fault, not setting the hooks quick enough, thinking it was probably another ball of weed. but. It was exciting nonetheless. Because I've just had a hit on the lure, I'm just checking my hook points are all still sharp. Just feel them, which they are. Got a couple of scratch marks from where that pike hit it. They didn't hit it really, really hard, but it was still a chance. Uh, and I'm sure there's some more out there. Right, beautiful little jack pike. Had success on this goldfish drone, snapper drone. Um, hit it right in the edge, I actually saw the fish follow. It's a beautiful little pike. See the markings on it? Designed for attacking fish prey and everything. Big eyes, massive mouth on it. I only just nicked it in the mouth, so I don't really think they're up for feeding too hard. With what happened around the other side with a few fish just nipping at lures and stuff, um, this one only just got the hooks in its mouth, so I was quite fortunate there.
And this fish, again, has nailed the lure right at the rod tip. Almost a carbon copy of the last fish I had. And this one's got the, uh, the treble off the Corum drone inside its mouth. Always carry my hooking gear right to hand. Simple little flick, and we're out. And fish is none worse for it. Like I say, a beautiful dark black fish with yellow markings on. And um, we found a little pocket of fish here, this corner, and they seem to be taking a liking to the uh, goldfish pattern. I'm gonna have a few more casts and might even change lure halfway through. Um, see if there's any other fish there that want something a bit different. At last we're getting amongst a few. I'd just like to take you through some of the lures I've been using today and the range that Corum Snapper offers for you. Um, I first started on the lake today with using the Corum Hard Lures. Now they're the double hard range. Um, this is the deep minnow. It's got a big vein on the front, typically used for deeper waters. Um, got the ability to dive quite deep and get amongst the fish. On here, we're on a shallow lake today, so it's not something I've used a lot today, but definitely a good lure in a deeper water. The next one's a midwater shad. It actually fishes slightly shallower, and I have been using this, and I've had a number of hits, although I've not converted them to any fish yet, um, but it's a great lure. The next one I'll talk about is the shallow bug. This is one of my favourite lures. It's a real interesting looking character. Lots of shape and detail in the head of the lure. It's a fantastic lure for using on small rivers and canals and stuff. Not just for pike. Um, I've caught chub, perch and all sorts on this one. A real all round lure. Next I'll go on to the drones. Now these are a soft rubber lure. So the bonus of the softness is is that uh, although it, it, it doesn't have the action impeded into it like the hard lures do through having a big vein on the front, when the fish hit it, it's more like it's more natural feeling to the fish, so they tend to really hold on to it when they hit it. Um, you can also tell if you get any hits because it lacerates the, the lure up. Now, these come in a variety of different colours. We've got natural um, roach looking patterns and perch looking patterns. But beyond all, my favourites, the actual goldfish, represents nothing that the pike are going to see in their natural habitat. But that's not a problem. Most lures, most of the best lures, don't actually look like anything that's swimming around in front of the pike. Um, but today, the goldfish pattern has beyond, been, without doubt, the best, best one I've used. Well, I've just come round the other side of the lake again. The peg we've not tried yet. Again, on the goldfish coloured Corum drone. And this pike has just rocketed out of the rhododendrons. I actually saw it come and get it. It's not a monster, but it's a better stamp of fish. I actually saw it shoot out from the rhododendrons and engulf the lure. And it put, put up a good account of itself. I 
that's a better stamp of fish. Beautiful hungry pike. I was having to work the lure quite quickly, like I've described earlier, to keep it out of the weed. But the fish are that fast, it just came from nowhere and blasted and hit the lure. Fantastic. Beautiful fish. State Lake Pike. Lovely. Well, I've had a really enjoyable day today here on the Estate Lake. We've caught a number of pike, all on the snapper range of products. Hopefully you're going to be able to take something away from today and make it happen for yourselves. <laughs>